What do you think is wrong with you? Oh, uh, I don't know, sir. I, everything seems kind of hopeless. Well, it's not as bad as you think. I've seen a lot of people with the same thing. It'll take time, but you're going to be all right. This patient will need extended treatment at a hospital in the communication zone, or if necessary, in the zone of interior. Thus, he completes the chain of evacuation which started in the combat area. From the front lines, the neuropsychiatric casualties were sent to nearby clearing stations for screening and treatment. Here, approximately 40% of all neuropsychiatric casualties were returned to full duty. The remaining patients were evacuated to army installations where intensive treatment salvaged an additional 20%. A large number were reassigned to limited service. More serious cases were then sent back to the communication zone level. At this level, only one to two percent were returned to combat. Patients reassigned bring the total from base and army level to nearly 30 percent. Approximately 10 percent of the original neuropsychiatric patients are evacuated to the continental United States. This system of neuropsychiatric treatment afforded early and intensive care. It returned a large proportion of soldiers to combat and salvaged many for useful reassignment. But for the more serious cases, the next step is evacuation and the long voyage home. Back home, the patients that don't need hospital care are sent to convalescent hospitals, where both combat and non-combat cases lead a normal barracks life under the supervision of specially trained personnel. The battalion commanders are medical officers. Severe cases, both combat and non-combat, are treated at the general hospitals, some of which are devoted exclusively to the care of neuropsychiatric patients. Here, all techniques of psychotherapy are employed. Individual psychotherapy, the personal contact between patient and psychiatrist, is the basic element of all treatment. Well, you're coming along nicely, Corporal. I want you to stay in the hospital for a while longer, though. I want to be sure that you're in really good shape before you leave. Okay, sir. I sure do feel better than when I first got here. And I want to get Explanation back... Explanation and reassurance based upon an understanding of each individual's emotional conflict contribute fundamentally to the patient's recovery. Sometimes an emotional disturbance shows itself as a physical ailment. Here, an inner emotional distress has been converted into a form of paralysis. In this type of case, treatment under narcosis may yield extraordinary results. Here again, a sedative is employed. Under the influence of the drug, the patient's mind becomes more open and receptive. While the patient is in this highly approachable state, the doctor employs the power of suggestion to pave the road toward recovery. Now you're gonna get right up and walk. Come on now, sit up. Now get off the bed. Put your feet right down on the floor. That's fine. All right, now stand up. 
Isn't that good? All right, now walk out there. Walk right over to the ward man, all by yourself. Go ahead, you're doing fine. All right, now turn around and come back to me. Come on now. Now I'm going to let you go back to sleep, and when you wake up, you're going to keep right on walking. How about it? Thanks a lot, Doc. I know. A technique which is basically similar, hypnosis, is effective in treatment of amnesia. This man doesn't even remember his own name. A shell burst in Okinawa wiped out his memory. The experience was unendurable to his conscious mind, which rejected it, and along with it, his entire past. But the unconscious memories remain. Through hypnotic suggestion, the psychiatrist will attempt to uncover them. You can remember everything. You can remember everything. You're back in Okinawa. Tell me what you see. Tell me. Speak. In the battery area. You're in the battery area. Go on. Tell me what's going on. Jap artillery. Getting our position. Jap's getting your position. Go on. Oh, the boys got hurt. They're taking it away. Yes, yes. Go on. Running from my gun position. Yes, you can remember it now. Tell me. It's all right now. You can tell me. You can tell me. Explosion. Yes, you remember an explosion now. Go on. Carrying me across the field. Across the field. Go on. You're putting me on a stretch. Yes, yes. All right, go on. I still throw. I still throw shells. Go on. You can see everything clearly now. Truck. Why are you fearful now? Don't want anymore. You don't want anymore. No. No. You want to forget it, but you're going to remember it because it's gone now. It's gone. You're back here now. You're away from Okinawa. You have forgotten it, but you remember who you are now. Who are you? Bates. Bates. That's right. Full name now. Donald Bates. Donald Bates. That's right. Now your mother's name. Margaret. Father's name. Thomas. That's fine. You know who they all are now. All right. You're coming back with us now. But this is going to stay with you. You're going to remember it all. You're going to remember about Okinawa. You're going to remember about the shells and the bombs out there. But they won't hurt you now. You're at ease. You're relaxed. No fear. No anxiety. When I wake you, you'll be comfortable, relaxed. No aches, no pains, but you'll remember everything I've told you, all that you've remembered. Under the guidance of the psychiatrist, he is able to regard his experience in its true perspective as a thing of the past which no longer threatens his safety. You can wake now. Well, how are you? Pretty good. Now he can remember. At the General Hospital, all facilities are available for the most advanced treatment. Electroshock therapy is remarkably effective with certain acute psychoses. The continuous tub treatment is also an effective method of sedation for severely disturbed cases. The patient relaxes under constant observation in a scientifically regulated bath. The wet pack treatment has a similar soothing effect. 